Dielectric heating relies upon molecules exhibiting polarity. The polarity of a molecule is caused by having a charge on an atom at one end of a molecule and the opposite charge at the other end, or alternatively in the middle of the molecule. This molecular polarity includes water, where the hydrogen has a positive charge and the oxygen has a negative charge. However, not all molecules have a polarity. This means that if a molecule is actually placed in an electromagnetic field, the molecule will align itself within the field. So the field changes rapidly, the molecule also changes its orientation or pivots. And if the field is rapidly changing, this can result in rapid movement of the molecule. When molecules move rapidly, they also heat up. This is the principle behind how microwaves can heat up food so quickly. So molecules basically attempt to follow the wave pattern of the microwave, oscillating backwards and forwards with the wave. Also explains why microwave ovens heat up some foods very quickly, like water, and are less efficient with foods with a high fat content, which don't have the obvious polarity of water. Now, if the water is bonded together in the form of ice, it becomes very difficult for the water molecules to follow the wave pattern, so don't heat up quickly which is why microwaves ovens struggle with defrosting items. So microwaves can penetrate the soft tissue of objects like meat. They don't have to cook objects from the outside, so they can cook from the inside just as quickly as the outside. This penetrating power of microwaves, however, is blocked by solid metal, like the casing and the grid found in the doors of microwave ovens. And you'd need a hole about five centimetres or more why for the microwaves to actually penetrate the screen on the front of the microwave. But for extra safety, the holes in the grids are normally much smaller than that. The dielectric heating for microwaves, though, isn't just restricted to microwave ovens. There are other devices which also use microwaves, especially in communications. Some military communication devices used microwaves that can transmit in a narrow beam, enabling point-to-point -point transmission with very little chance of the signal being intercepted. This requires relatively small transmitters with, again, relatively small amounts of power, making them ideal for military communication. There are, of course, some disadvantages in that transmissions are unable to cope with hills and other solid obstructions. In addition, any substance in the path of the signal could suffer from dielectric heating, possibly starting fires or other similar hazards if too much power was used. And many of the early microwave transmitters and relays have now been replaced with different and newer technology. However, mobiles or cell phones do use transmissions in the microwave range. So that's led some people to worry about the health implications of using mobile phones and other wireless devices. Now, while the mobile phone masks have much more power than handheld device, the power rapidly diminishes with distance in accordance with the inverse square rule. Which means that because the phone itself is so close to you, it's far more a potential hazard than a distant mask even though the phone actually has far less power. There have been worries that mobile phones could cause anything from cancer to infertility, and so far, no link to anything serious has actually been proved. And considering the amount of devices in use, any significant threat probably would have been found by now with the amount of investigation that's been going on. However, it would be sensible to limit the potential exposure by reducing mobile usage and also to hold the device some distance from the head. One thing that mobile devices could do is create dielectric heating in the brain. However, in order this to happen, you'd actually have to hold the phone next to your ear for a very long time and also be fairly unaware of the physical sensation of your head actually warming up. Would it be any serious threat?